Have you ever contemplated the significance of understanding human gastrointestinal nematode parasites? Now, you might be wondering, what are nematodes? Well, they are a type of microscopic worm, some of which have adapted over millions of years to live inside us, in our gastrointestinal tract. These parasites, often referred to as helminths, play a much larger role in human health than most people realize. Nematodes are a fascinating subject of study, especially in the medical field. They can affect our health in various ways, causing diseases ranging from mild discomfort to severe, life-threatening conditions. They can influence our immune response, nutrient absorption, and even our gut microbiome. Their presence in our bodies can lead to different symptoms and conditions based on the specific species of nematode, their number, and the individual's health status. So, let's delve deeper and meet three important nematodes that can wreak havoc in our bodies. Say hello to Ascaris lumbricoids, hookworm, and Trichuris tricheura, three nematodes you'd rather not host. Ascaris lumbricoids, often simply known as Ascaris, is the largest of the three. This unwelcome guest can reach up to a staggering 35 centimeters in length. On the other hand, our hookworm friends are much smaller, but far from harmless. They cling to our intestinal walls, drinking our blood. Lastly, meet Trichuris tricheura, or whipworm, named for its whip-like shape. Despite their differences, these three have a shared knack for causing havoc in our gastrointestinal tract. They thrive in warm, moist soil and are most commonly found in areas with poor sanitation. All three of these parasites are experts at exploiting our bodies for their benefit. Now that we've met our guests, let's explore how they make themselves at home. Our nematode guests have different ways of gatecrashing our bodies. Take Ascaris, for instance. These sneaky parasites often hitch a ride through contaminated food or water. Once ingested, they begin their journey into our bodies, setting up shop in our intestines. Then we have Trichuris, another nematode with a similar modus operandi. They too are often ingested through contaminated food or water, making our intestines their new home and wreaking havoc in the process. But here's where things take an interesting turn. Hookworms, unlike their Ascaris and Trichuris counterparts, opt for a more direct route. They don't wait to be ingested. Instead, they penetrate the skin, usually through the soles of our feet, and travel through our blood vessels to reach our lungs and finally, our intestines. Each of these nematodes has its own unique way of infiltrating our bodies, but they all share a common goal, to settle in and thrive. Now let's see what happens once these unwelcome guests have settled in. Once inside our bodies, these nematodes don't stay quiet. They bring along some rather unpleasant symptoms which we like to call unwanted souvenirs. Let's start with Ascaris. Like uninvited guests, they take up residence in our intestines, often leading to malnutrition as they consume our nutrients. In severe cases, they can even cause intestinal blockage, a serious condition requiring immediate medical attention. Next, we have the hookworms. These rascals are notorious for causing anemia and protein deficiency. They do this by latching onto the intestinal wall, siphoning off our blood and nutrients. Lastly, we have Trichuris, also known as the whipworm. These parasites are particularly nasty, often leading to dysentery and growth retardation. They thrive in the large intestine, causing inflammation and discomfort. Remember, knowledge about these nematodes, their roots of infection and symptoms, is a powerful tool in their prevention and treatment.